Hello all, in today's video we're going to just talk real quickly about how to install Gina. There's been a few requests for this, so I figured I'd make a quick video on how to do this. So a couple of things before we get started here. Uh, while in game, you need to type slash log on. That's very important, and you'll see here it says logging to eqlogs.txt on, because Gina basically runs through your logs and reports that information in live time. And then what you want to do is on your EQ uh, shortcut, right click, uh, open file locations. So then now you're going to see where the game is actually located. And then you're going to want to go into the log files over there. So you're going to want to make sure that you, know, you have the logs for your character there. So the next part is to download it. I'm going to leave links in the description here for Gina and simply download Gina save and you i'm using firefox for what it's worth once it's load open install and it does its thing it started so i since i already had it installed already um, it saves some of the information already so but what you'd want to do is add a character go here Go to your logs directory. So you would have to, from that you know previous window, find a location, go to logs, and then let's say I wanted to add uh, Orbis smells to my Gina. Okay. Open, then over to that, save, and then there you go. I have a new profile for Orbis smells, and basically I'll also leave it in the description. Um, Okim made a PowerPoint presentation and I'll link it in the description below. Basically it shows you everything that I just explained and then further down below it will explain how to make your own ray triggers or group triggers or whatnot. Now to receive triggers it could be done through either tells, group chat, guild chat, any time of chats. So I'm going to ask UV here to send it to me. Uh, I talked to him in advance, obviously, so he's going to send it to uh, us in a second. And then what's going to happen is going to prompt, as soon as you get the tell from him, it's going to prompt us in the Gina window if we want to merge it. So there it goes. And then you'll see here, Yugi is attempting to share the trigger. Do you accept? Uh, I already have it, but you will hit accept if you don't. Uh, I just don't need to merge it. So, but there you go. And it's as simple as that. So it's a super useful tool. Um, I probably should have said this in the beginning, but Gina basically is a uh, third party software that does not manipulate the game. So it's totally legit. It's not considered cheating or anything. It reads your logs and basically tells you when to do things um, when uh, in raids, if certain emotes happen, or even when you're playing your own character. If dots are fading and you need to refresh it, or if buffs are about to fade, you can set timers to it. It's a super useful tool, um, but it takes a little time to get used to. Um, but that's it. That's how you install it, and that's how you get triggers. And then also, you know, read it a little bit, and it will show you how to make your own triggers as well. So you can use your imagination, creativity, and uh, make yourself better. Like it's it's just a free tool, and it's nice. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye bye.